doesn't sound good. that we're going to see is if the battery that we have is good mm -hmm. or is that we need a new battery. Okay. No acceleration at all. Uh, to, uh, as soon as I shut it off, it just, uh, everything came back on again. It's like, uh, it's, I never experienced that before in a car, so... But it must be a new thing with these uh, with these uh, vehicles that have a multi-function of uh, four by four all-wheel all drive, and then you can switch it for snow, sand, mud, and all those functions. And I, I don't know where we might get uh, stuck, confused, or whatever the the, the board computer might get confused. That's not that that can make sense to me, because I mean, if it, if it would be broke, broken, uh, then there's no acceleration, and then, uh, then you won't, won't be able to get a fix until uh, a mechanic looks at it, right? And, uh, nothing will start working again, as, as if nothing happened. Once you turn it back on, shut it off, and turn it back on like a computer, right? So, uh, I love the view when you're just coming out of Saragossa into Ciudad Meliot and you see this beautiful range of the mountains and, and the Boqueron and it's so beautiful it's just but like there's this big hill so much better is if we take down that giant Wendy's sign there because it's kind of killing the, uh, the view the vista Aluminio, cobre, bronce. 
empujar, te vas a sacar. Una venta de repuesto, es Santa Tecla. ¿Cómo es Santa Tecla? Es Santa Tecla. Este, lo que pasa es que mi, mi uh, batería se arruinó, entonces la cargo en el... Uh, Ando en la prestada ahorita. No, no, 
manda una pesada ahorita. Sí, claro, ahí sí. vamos a verificar. Se busca. Aquí en el Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, buenas. That's pretty cool that they have like a numbered system. It keeps them well organized. It looks like they get really busy here. Yeah, it does. They look pretty busy and uh, looks a pretty, uh, pretty nice shop actually. Out, out in the open and it's, uh, and yeah, they have a system with uh, they put a number on top of the car so you know what's next. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool. When you ask them how much for looking at my vehicle, what did they say? Oh, they say it was nothing. <laughs> they uh, checked the whole uh, charging system, the battery, the lid, and stuff. So I thought, uh, you know, it was gonna well, coming from Canada. It, there's not such a thing as free uh, any checkup. And uh, so uh, when I tell them, well, how much do I owe them? Was like yeah, nothing. When I went to the when I went to the uh, to, to, to do the thing with the tire to, 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 to put a new uh, valve uh, on the tire, uh, and then how much did I owe him? One dollar. But he gave him five, you know, so he was cool about that for sure. Because one dollar, that's like that's nothing. Yeah, well, this is like a tip, right? I mean, he gave me out of uh, a situation. And, uh, so we have to head to another place to get the right type of battery for our vehicle. Did you remember to uh, leave your Arma in the car? My Arma? Yeah, 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 it's in the, in the trunk. It's in, okay. uh, it's in the glove compartment, actually, because, you know, I'm not getting it in there. All right. I'm not allowed to go in there without with, with it. No, you are not. No Armas allowed. <laughs> so, we just changed... Uh, we well, got a brand new battery, obviously. We never do that. Over in Canada, we always use that uh, use batteries, right? And uh, got a brand new battery, but it's a pretty hefty price of $253 for a brand new battery. But, I mean, it's the right proper battery for the car, right? What would you have expected to pay in Canada for that battery? Big battery. So comparable, the price is comparable? Yeah. All right. 